Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Eiffel Mining. So today we're going to be mining Neoxa, we're going to be using HiveOS, and we're going to do it on Zerg Pool. Now you may wonder why I'm using Zerg Pool. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the pools. We'll just look over a few things first here, and then we'll get into the setup. And you can see that there's other pools that would be better, and I agree with that uh, 100%. But if anybody's used uh, NiceHash, right? I, I admit I used it when I first started. I learned more about other uh, software that you could use and I got out of it. Eventually I went to Hive and I've lived at Hive now for a long time um, and, I, and I like it. But the good thing, I hate to say things like good things about NiceHash, but the good thing is that you can choose an algorithm like Kapow and it'll mine that algorithm and find the most profitable coin and then pay you out in Bitcoin. Uh, it'll look for uh, several times during the day, checking different things, and it might mine Neoxa. Maybe it's going to mine uh, Ravencoin. You know, it can mine different things. So the idea is that it mines any of those coins or tokens and then pays you out in one uh, payment. So that's kind of good. Now, when the merge happens, there's going to be a lot of up and down with different coins and tokens, maybe like like Ethereum. Sometimes Ethereum's up, sometimes Ethereum. It just bounces around uh, lately, but typically it was number one. I don't think it's going to be like that, you know, in the future uh, or in nine days. I think that uh, it's going to move a lot different. Maybe Raven's number one this day, maybe Raven's number seven the next day. I think it's going to move a lot. So the good thing about Zerg Pool and something even like Z Pool is that it also will mine the most profitable coin uh, and then pay you out in a currency. Now, that's similar to NiceHash, but what the benefits are is that you could even choose which coins you want it to look for to mine, and also, or if you want it just to mine, whatever is the most profitable in Kapow, let's say. Uh, also, the second thing that's kind of cool about it is that you can get paid out in, well, they have quite a list of currencies, uh, Flux, Bitcoin, just like NiceHash. You can get paid out in the currency that you're mining. Uh, you can get paid out in, you know, uh, Dogecoin. I mean, there's the list is is quite big, and we'll we'll look at that when we get in there. So, when we're in this beginning stages of um, the merge and all the coins and tokens moving, in my opinion, going to move quite a bit. I think something like Zerg Pool or Z Pool are going to be the answer to Nice Ash, uh, and I think Nice Ash, in its own sense, is you know that whole set it and forget it. Set it. And these two are the same. So it's, um, I do appreciate these a little bit more and that's why we're gonna be using this today. So just, just for, you know, that's why we're doing it. Now we are gonna be doing it on the uh, RTX 3060 LHR rig I have, it's eight cards. Uh, of course, LHR doesn't matter anymore. It's been uh, taken care of, but if we calculate that out, we can see here that Ethereum is third today. Um, Neoxa is doing very well, but I will say that the difficulty has gone up so much that just yesterday, hand to God, just yesterday I was looking at this and I was like, wow, it's making around 1100 a day. Now it's making around nine, uh, 900 now. Uh, but you know, yesterday was around 1100. And on the uh, upside, if you had a lucky day, you were getting around 1200. And I was like, wow, that was, um, that was amazing. So it's come down uh, about 200 uh, coins mined per day or uh, in rewards because of the difficulty, if we jump over here, you can clearly see how it's just uh, went through the roof here. Uh, so, and of course the price is up. Now this is seven days. If um, you go over to CoinGecko, we can see the price is just uh, really moved uh, right now at nine, uh, nine tenths of a cent, just shy of one cent. So an amazing uh, coming from two tenths of one cent. So uh, 5x, and this doesn't do it justice because yesterday was the seventh day and it was up 350 something, 358 or 59%. Uh, it's not giving the full 14, but it, it, was, it was up quite a bit. So you can understand why the difficulty shot up on that. And when we look at the pools, uh, Zerg pool that we're gonna do today, it's down there. Uh, it's not the best pool to mine on now. But we're looking to the future, and that's when this pool may be more relevant uh, for mining after Ethereum is gone. Same thing with Z pool. Now, Z pool is not listed um, near the top here. You can see it is down here. Uh, and again, very similar, but uh, we're going to do Zerg pool and, uh, and let's get started. So let's, uh, let's go to uh, Zerg pool and just bring that up. 
and before we go to our minor, which I, um, that's the, we have it right here, the RTX 3060 LHR set, here they are, and I am mining Neoxa right now. So uh, I set it up, I wanted to make sure I had my first payout, everything went through, everything's working well, so I thought I'd share it with you. So um, uh, let's take a look, where are we looking here? So we're gonna go to Zerg Pool, and here we are here. So we're just gonna go to their homepage, and of course any of the pages I used today, I'll have links in the description below. So now we're just gonna scroll down to the bottom. And once we get down here, you can see that this is all right here. It will have all the information you need right in here when we're done. So we're going to go to region. I'm in North America. I'm in North Carolina. So we'll go there. The algorithm, we're going to choose Kapow. You can see there are quite a few that you can choose from in here. Uh, so we are just going to go to Kapow. And the payout currency, what do you want to get paid out in? And here it is. Bitcoin, Doge, uh, Litecoin, Dash, Raven, Flux. Uh, Ethereum, uh, these are the top ones that they offer, Matic, uh, quite a bit. But if you scroll down, there are quite a few that you can pick from. So that's the benefit of this one. Now, we are looking to get paid out uh, in Neoxa. So there it is, Neox. And then we want to choose the target coins. So we can choose uh, Neoxa or Ravencoin if we just want to mine that one. But if we don't put anything, uh, you see right here, these are the ones that Kapow will mine. You can highlight all of them, and then it will mine all of them. Or um, if you just wanted to mine uh, just one, you could do that. And, uh, and that's basically it, you know? Uh, so we are mining Neoxa right now. It is the most profitable. Now, if I wanted to have a backup, if say if it was to drop and I wasn't paying attention to my rigs, I could put Ravencoin in there also, uh, or, or all of them in there, and then just basically set it and forget it. Uh, so I'm just gonna be doing straight with Neoxa. Uh, I will show you both when we're done here. So the payout wallet, uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just do X's for now. The worker name, uh, just do 3060 for now as well. And then here is all the information you're going to need right here. So we have, uh, we're going to be taking it from here and we're going to be going across to here. So let's go ahead and bring up Hive and we're going to go to our flight sheet and we'll just go to the one that I have right now. We'll just hit the, uh, the edit. So in the coin, you're going to start typing out and type out the full name, Neoxa, and it will show up in a list and you can choose it. So you'll be adding your own coin. So uh, you can just do that. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's go back here and I'll just, um, we'll just start doing it. So it'll come up and then you just click it. Now you need to select a wallet. You need to set one up. Now I downloaded the wallet from uh, Neox's homepage. If you come here to downloads and you go to the windows and you could download the wallet. Um, once you download the wallet, uh, just I installed it with default settings. Uh, make sure that you write down your seed phrase or passphrase. If you lose it, you'll never get back to your wallet again. Uh, you know how DeFi works, so write that down, save it somewhere safe, don't share it with anybody, and keep it somewhere safe because you, if you lose it, you're out. Uh, and that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the wallet right here. It's still uh, updating. I just did it yesterday. So here it is here. So all you're going to do is that when you have it open, you're just going to go to uh, File, and you go to Receiving Address, and you will click New, and you will have a new wallet address. I called it EM for Euclid Mining. Uh, I just highlight it and click Copy. Now I've got my wallet. Uh, I go to my flight sheet. I will need to set up a wallet first, to be honest. Uh, so let's actually just jump over there and do that, Add Wallet. Uh, and we're going to go see here and now we can create this one and we'll choose create we'll put our wallet address and then whatever name you want to do and then you can click create uh, I already have mine in here uh, right here that's the one that I'm using I actually have it in there twice uh, but there it is right there so I've got it saved so I probably should have shown you that first then we'll go back to flight sheets and then in here and we will choose that one because we'll be creating it. The wallet, we'll add the wallet. Oops, 
we will select wallet and, and the AXA. And then we're going to select the pool. We're going to configure it in the miner. And then we're going to choose the miner. Now, I believe I have it set up for G Miner and T Rex. I have two different ones. It's virtually the same though. We're going to do, uh, I guess we'll do G Miner. and then we'll set up in the miner. So uh, from here, there are a couple different ways to do this. You can click here and you can put the link to the wallet. Um, you know, that's that's up to you. I'm just gonna put my, my wallet straight in there. Uh, the algorithm is Kapow. I'm sorry, I'm always looking over my microphone to type. It's probably not the best place for it. Uh, okay, so now the server, the port, and the password. So that's where we're going to come back to Zerg Pool. And this is it here. So this is our server. We're not going to take the dash O. We're going to just take from stratum all the way across to the last digit in the, um, in the port number right here. So we're going to go like that. We're going to hold Control and C. And then we're going to come here and Control and V. Then we're going to come over. Um, I'm sorry, we'll get rid of the port on this one. Then we'll go to the port. I just deleted it. wasn't paying attention to it. Where am I at? Uh, 3638. And then you're going to look for the password. So uh, this is your password. So C equals Neoxa. That's what you want to get paid out in. Now your mining equals Neoxa. So uh, this is is your whole password right here okay that's going to be your password um while you're uh so we'll hit control c we'll go to hive control v and then we can apply changes and you should be set to go for mining uh on g miner now let's uh what do I have? I have T-Rex running right now with it. Uh, let's see. There's my G minor. We can edit that and you'll see. So I had Z-Pool in it at one point. So there you are. And then the port. And then as you can see, the same thing here where uh, I, it's the same idea. Uh, Neoxa and then it's called Zap. And then you have the other... Oops other coins that you can mine. In this one, I've got everything listed, not just Neoxa. Um, probably will change that because I just want to mine Neoxa straight because I think it's uh, it doesn't need to be sw uh, switching or looking for anything else. So there you go. Now, if we look at T-Rex, we will look at that one also real quick and configure in Miner. Now, this one, you put everything in it straight across, all right, uh, right there. And in this one also, I am uh, the same way so let's go back to Zerg pool and you can see right here I have the stratum and it goes all the way to the port so in um, T-Rex it goes all the way across to the port it doesn't have a separate section for the port you put it all in that one then you come back over to Zerg pool and now that we have that now you have your wallet right after that and of course again you put your wallet right here uh, of course you could put one of these arguments like this and that should pull the wallet but uh, I put my wallet in here, so uh, that's that. The worker name, I just called the 3060. I know, not, not a real exciting one, uh, but it is the 3060 rig. So there you go. Uh, the password, let's go over here to that password again and take a look. So it's C equals uh, Neil X, comma, and then what it's going to mine. On this one, it's just mining uh, Neoxa. That's it. And then the ID is the ID that you would have. So um, again, you can see my password. And that's uh, different from the other one because I had, um, I think I had chosen on the other one extra arguments for what it was going to mine. So, but that's up to you. You know, I'm, I'm mining straight Neoxa. Um, Maybe after the merge, I will put it so that it mines other things. I think Neoxa for the future right now is going to be more profitable than Ravencoin, though when this all turns around, you know, who knows where Ravencoin is going to end up. So, you know, we'll see there. But 
uh, that's that's it, y'all. That's it in a nutshell. How you do it here? You can do solo if you want to do solo. And as you see in here, in your password, you will take Neoxa, your mining Neoxa, and now you're going to be solo, and you'll take that as well. And that will be your password, and that will tell uh, Zergpool that you will be mining uh, solo. So that's it. You just choose right here whichever one you want and uh, put the appropriate one in. So anyway, like I said, I'm doing this video because I did it for mine. Uh, I've been doing it on mine right now, and um, it's uh, the 3060 rig, the flight sheet. Here it is. It's the T-Rex, and uh, I was using G minor, and uh, I've had great success actually with G minor's done well uh, because there there was a couple different coins that G minor was better with, but I've had uh, success with T-Rex for almost everything I've done. So I went back to T-Rex. I was using G minor for a little while, but I, I think T-Rex is, uh, is the one that I like to use the most. But, you know, different coins do and tokens do better on different um, mining software. So anyway, there's mine. So the Kapow, my wallet, the worker name, I have got everything in there and then just what I'm mining and what I, what I want to get paid out in and then what I'm mining. Uh, I've been running that now for a little while, uh, about a day that I started this, but I... Uh, been doing a lot of testing with this rig and just the other day i did just move this over so anyway that's zerg pool hive os that's using g minor and t-rex um i hope that broke it down for you all i hope the video helped if it did i love the thumbs up i really appreciate them of course if you want to subscribe to the channel you can hit that it's going to be right over there and of course if you want to see any of my other videos for hive os i'll probably throw one up over there about updating your drivers so if you ever want to do that you can check that one out i appreciate y'all checking in i'll see you next time hope you do well during the merge uh it's going to be it's going to be something else uh it's going to be something else <laughs> take it easy